Hi everyone, it's Nancy. I'm back. I recuperated from a very, very busy Halloween, which was so much fun. And now I am in the mood for Christmas. The Christmas music started on the radio already. And uh, my house, I took down all my Halloween stuff after the party. I cleaned house. My house is like a blank canvas now, so it's ready to get all the Christmas things. But first, I had to get started on my on my Christmas journals. So I'll be making um, two, possibly three, uh, but two for sure journals. Um, the first kit I'm going to work with, which I'm going to show you, is uh, by Joey Cardmaker. And it's called Let's Be Jolly. And you know I love retro. I love anything retro. So it's it's got that 1950s retro vibe. And um, I've never worked with one of Joey's kits before, so this is a first time, and um, they're beautiful. I mean, I've seen his kits, and they're absolutely gorgeous, but um, this one really caught my eye, and so I thought it'd be a good time to start trying it. Um, it uh, this kit, Let's Be Jolly, which I'll link down below, uh, he has, um, you know, uh, two sizes, I think the A4 and the U.S. size, so all of his kits, I believe, are made in those sizes, so you just have to, you know, check what, what size you're looking for, and um, this kit here is so pretty, and retro, and the images, and the colors, um, and um, the way he makes them is when you fold the pages, it's like both pages can coordinate, and I think he does that in most all of his kits, if not most of his kits. And this kit could be a uh, December daily. It does come with numbers, but you don't have to use it with numbers. Um, so what I wanted to show you is it's gonna it's a one signature. Um, I did the cover with um, a very heavy interfacing and a real pretty retro Christmas tree fabric, and I lined that on the. Uh, outside and then on the inside I used a blue uh, snowflake pattern and I stitched around it and on the back cover here I did stitch this image right onto the cover this is one of the beautiful images and I thought it'd be fitting at the end of the book it says happy new year and they're celebrating so I stitched that onto the cover on the front cover, I stitched this lovely lady who's Christmas shopping, and I had this um, uh, pom little pom-pom trim that I put on and uh, glued the pom-pom trim, but I did sew this right on to the cover here, okay? So um, that's the cover, and let me show you on the inside here, okay? So these are some of the pages. I'll show you. Most pages are from his kit, and then I added a few of my own okay so um see how these coordinate like this is the snowman and this is a snowman scene it's got those colors and uh line paid lined here so you could put like your um photos or whatever you want to if, if you were going to use it as a december daily you know you could put your pictures or cutouts or photos or whatever here and then you can write about the day if that's what you want and the kit does come with um numbers I want to show you I did pre-cut all the pieces um, the numbers I have in a little bag somewhere here let's see where do I have them I did pre-cut a bunch of things okay I know they're in here somewhere we cut all the tags I'll show you I'll kind of show you what it comes oh here they're back here so it comes with round numbers and and kind of square numbers so the round numbers, and it even has a, a little circle that says December Daily, and these are the round numbers. And then um, it also comes uh, if you wanted to use like squares. So it gives you even two sets of those if you wanted to use it as a October Daily. And then these are the, um, not these here, because I do have some retro papers of my own. Here's some little circle embellishments, little ticket embellishments, big ticket embellishments, um, Santa's, um, little children, all kind of Christmas trees, all kind of stuff. So I cut all that out already. And then here 
it comes with this type of tag and there's there's a quite a few of them in here I'll show you all different kinds I forget how many are here and then it comes with um, these tags some of these tags here and then it comes with some fishtail banners. It comes with some tabs. Um, and then like tea cards. Oh, here's some more of those tags. And then um, some journal cards or, or whatever you want to use them for. It's got the cute images of the children and the families. And then uh, this side here. Um, it has um, some journal cards, some pockets, corner pockets, um, some other regular pockets, an envelope. Um, I already did uh, glue some nice book page on the back of these and sewed around them for journal cards. And then the way he prints, there are two of these on a page. And on the other side, um, it's all writing space. So when you print them, they come two on a page and then right next to it is the writing side. So all you have to do is cut it out, fold it, glue it, glue and or stitch, and you've got journaling cards. And so I went ahead and cut them and I just kind of stitched around them for now. Um, so that's a lot of the ephemera you get and the pages. So let me get back to showing you the pages. So um, yeah, this is... Uh, this is how it looks, and there's some of these pages. This here is my own. Um, it was a napkin that I had, and what I did was I just printed the napkin. I stuck it in my copy machine, my you know my uh, printer, and uh, copied it on paper. And I thought it had that retro look to it, so I just printed it. And uh, so we have a little page there. This is his kit, and look at this one's got like a dream page on it. This is my paper here, just like a coffee stain with a pretty snowy background. And see how this coordinates with um, this page, the cocktails for the parties. And then we have the teddy bears and cakes. And then this here, um, I put a pretty washi tape in here. And this page is from a, a vintage gardening book. And this is, it says December 1st week. And then it's got some how to take care of. Uh, evergreens and the needles and what to do. This is part of his kit here. It's a very faded, beautiful um, holly and berries. And then this is the collage page. Here's a co like a coffee dyed look. Collage page, music page. These are pretty, the trees. Baking page. This is the center spread. Of course, my isn't this just a beautiful image? Beautiful, beautiful image. I love this. So, of course, that had to be in the middle. How could it not? And I sewed it in with a three-hole pamphlet stitch. And I left these long because I'm not sure it gives me the option if I want to put some charms on here. So, for now, I just left it in there. And we'll continue on. So I, you can, you know, like I said, do do whatever you want. Here's the other side of the collage page. Um, you can use it a December daily or not. On the other side of that uh, vintage gardening page where I put the washi tape to connect them, this is an old book page. It has a real nice feel to it. And then this is Joey's kit here, here. Um, and coffee dyed. This. Here's the other. I just did a double sided because it looks so cute in here. And then this page here. And then the last page here. So let's see. There are for now two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. So that would be 64 pages. Okay. 
And um, I want to start out with making some ephemera now because it, this is pretty basic. You know, you um, make your cover and uh, whatever kind of cover you want. You could even make um, a paper cover, you know, but I felt like I hadn't done one of the fabric covers in a long time. Um, so I thought it was super cute. So I thought, well, now we need to make some ephemera. Um, the first thing I want to do that caught my eye is to do something on this short little page here. And I'm trying to, um, and this is not my idea, but I'm trying to come up with some whimsical type, um, not your typical ephemera that you would normally put in the journals we make. I, I, I'm trying to think some more uh, fun ephemera. And when I thought of that idea, I turned to my friend Michelle, that is Pink Strawberries on uh, YouTube, and she makes the most awesome things with uh, papers. So real cute, um, little, little cute little things. So I did go to my library of Pink Strawberry videos, and um, I do have a couple of pieces of ephemera we could start out with today. And it's going to go on the short page here. I want to put something right here. And it's made using circles. Um, this circle that I cut is a four inch circle. I have a, a, a set of dies, a circle dies. So I used, uh, I think this might be the biggest one, but um, I did measure this. And this is a four inch circle. So this is super easy. So you need four circles, four paper circles, okay? And I have to tell you, too, this paper here, I've had this paper. It's retro vintage paper. Um, it is from Stampin' Up. I can tell you the name of it in case you might have it if you did ever purchase Stampin' Up products. So let me tell you um, the name of this, and I don't remember what year it was from. Um, but this paper line is called Home for Christmas by Stamping Up. So I just wanted to um, use it when I look through my stash. I'm trying to use things that I have. Um, but use whatever kind of paper you want. If you don't have any paper, you just print out more of um, Joey's kit. And it uh, needs to be double-sided. And I'll you'll see why in a minute. So we're going to need some glue and a bone folder and what we're going to do is we're going to fold these circles in half okay so um there's going to be one top bottom side and side okay so um it doesn't matter if they are directional but i love this little deer one and i kind of want him on the bottom so what you do is you just fold your circles in half you don't need a score just Meet it up, press it down with your hands, and just give it a, a, a score like that. Um, and then I am going to use this one on the top. So, And then this one has a directional, so I want to use it on the top. So I'm going to fold it this way. So once again, just fold it in half. You can make this with any size circle you want. Um, you just have to uh, decide what size you need. And then circles... Um, you can make them small, you can make them as big as you want. So it'd be fun to just take some scrap paper and try the different size circles that you have or that you can trace like with a jar lid or something like that um, because uh, you'll see how cute this is. I'm going to fold this one. This will be on the side just because it's pretty like that. I like it. And then this one the same. I'm going to fold this this way because that's going to be on the side let's see I want my I want to kind of see that tree so I'm going to fold it like this so yes thank you Michelle for some wonderful ideas that I can incorporate in this really cute retro journal so this is how it's going to be so this is the top so what I'm going to do is open this up I'm going to take my side circle and we're just going to put a little glue right on this upper part right here, like that. Not too much, just that much. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna 
put this on the circle below the score line so it can still fold and just kind of up to the side of the circle but below the score line like that so when you fold it down it'll be full it can still flap down okay so we did that and it's right below the score line kind of butted up to that side of the circle we're going to do the same with this one I'm going to put some glue on here I'm going to butt it up to the circle but below the score line and sometimes they go off a little if you're if you're not um, sure but it will work you'll see how cute this is going to be and what a fun piece of ephemera just make sure that when you close this it closes okay so there's that you can open these up and that's how it looks in there and then this one is going to glue here so before you glue you can just kind of make sure it's going to fit because sometimes these are kind of in you want to make sure they're before they really glue down just make sure that this one will go right right in um you know not crossing over the score line on this one and on this one if it does then you've you've uh like mine's got a little bit of i've got to move it out a little bit and you can just kind of see that's why you use some glue so you have some wiggle room you can before you even glue it you can just try it to make sure that these fold over if they fold over like there we go if they fold over real nice and they don't get caught here then your these two are good to go and now what you're going to do is you're going to put a little glue here and a little glue here it's it's not hard i mean i've made a few the first couple I, you know, I didn't really check the placement and they, they didn't want to fold down very well. But um, as long as you check before these two pieces dry, just lay this in and fold them and make sure it works. Um, okay, so we're going to butt it up and not past the score line on this side or that side. And then you can um, just press this down. Just take a quick like that it folds it doesn't get caught so I know that's good and then what you can do is just slip some glue under in here because see this is not glued here so now that it's in the right place I can just put a little glue down there hold that down for a second you know I forgot to ask how everybody is did you have a nice Halloween um are you decorated for Thanksgiving? Do you th keep your fall things up or do you go right to Christmas? Because next week I'm, I'm the Christmas stuff is coming out. Like I have a few little pieces out, but I needed to get videos done because it's been a, it's been a while. But I had a, I had to unwind from Halloween. You know, I was really with my party and all. I was so hyped up. So I had to just take a break. OK, so thanks for waiting for me. <laughs> So anyway, okay, so how you fold this up is you just go one side in, down, one side down, one side down. And see, I could just feel this one got a little bit tight there. I must have moved it, but it's okay. You can just give it a crease. And then this one here, the bottom one, you're just kind of going to take it and tuck it under here. Just take it tuck it under it goes under real nice and then you've got this cute there you go you've got this cute little pocket type thing and you don't see what's inside and then when you undo it you just open it up and you can this is pretty this looks pretty here but I thought maybe we could use one of the uh, images and put it in here and glue it or you can um, you can do that or and or uh, you could fill it with some goodies in here, like some die cuts and uh, cutouts and cut aparts or labels. So the inside obviously measured. I used a four inch circle, so the inside measures about four inches. So um, as long as you have flat things, you know you can um, you can put, fill this up with some things. And I want to glue this on this page here. Now I was thinking of using an image. 
there are a couple of these images here of the lovely couple here. We could um, cut this down and we could glue this on the inside, but you could still fill it with things too. So um, I don't know yet. I mean, let's just think about it. But anyway, so what I want to do is I'm just going to fold it up. So I fold the right, I fold the top down, I fold the left, and then this one here, I'm going to just tuck it on the right side underneath there. And, it, and you can even, you know, give it a nice score again if you want to for good good measure just give it a score it does lie flat it's very flat can you see so let's glue this on this page and look how nice that fits on that page and what a surprise it would be to open that up and find some extra little things in there right so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my bigger glue bottle of glue out here and um yeah I I don't know about you and uh, let me just glue some this side is loose so we can glue that down too I don't know about you, but I have a hard time using circles. It They intimidate me sometimes. But boy, when an idea like this comes along that you can make something very cool with circles, I, I'm loving this. So, and I will link Michelle's channel down below as well. If you haven't heard of her or seen her, she makes really, really fun things. I love her and she's super nice. Okay, so I'm going to glue this on, kind of center it here, if I can, the best I can. I'm going to hold that down for a second. And then maybe we'll um, see, we'll see if we want to fill it with some goodies and, and or the picture. I'm just not sure yet. I, I don't know, but that's just something we can think about for now. So isn't that cute? I love that. And then you can say, what's in there? Ah, surprise. <laughs> I got a little glue in there, so that's fine. It'll be fine. So right, top, left, and then tuck the bottom in. And it lays super flat. So that's fun. I like that a lot. Um, okay. Um, the other thing I want to make, and... I thought we could put it, I'm going to try to make like one piece of ephemera for the front part of the journal and then the second piece so we kind of even it out. The second thing I think I wanted to put it on this, the second part of the journal. And I think, I think I was going to do it here. So let's, I think that's what I was doing. So I'm going to put this book to the side here. And the other thing we're going to make is a um, another idea from Michelle. And it can be incorporated into any journal, any size. You can make this any size with any paper. But it is best to have double-sided. So if you don't have like a scrapbook paper you want to use, uh, you can print the digital double-sided, you know, make that. Or what I'm going to show you that I'm going to use, as soon as I figure out where I laid it, is um, just some cardstock. So I have some red plain cardstock, 8.5 by 11. So um, you're going to cut this at, um, and I should have wrote this down, but let me see. What, what do I have that I could write it down with? Um, well, let me tell you. So this here, I'm cutting a piece that is four inches wide and by the length, which is 11, okay? Then you're going to score it at, um, this page we're going to score at two and three quarters and at five and a half. So... This is 4 by 11. You score at 2 and 3 quarter and then 5 and a half. That's what you do, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to fold up on that line there so it's pretty much in half, okay? That line goes up. This other score line you're going to fold back. So it looks like this. Okay, 
All right. So what we're going to do is take a paper clip. Now this paper clip, I don't even know where I got the, oh, Office Depot. These came from, but you can get them on, um, you can get them on Amazon. And this size clip is a bigger one. So this clip is two inches, this one here. And so um, there's some different variations that Michelle shows you to make. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of cardstock and I'm going to keep it like this. I'm going to put the smaller part of the paper clip on the inside here, right in the middle, like that. So the inside has the smaller, the outside has the regular, okay? Now, um, what we can do is uh, put tape across here, and I have this just double-sided tape uh, that Michelle always uses. So I'm going to put a piece across. It's super sticky, too, and it comes in different lengths. So I'm going to put this across here first, um, and then I'm going to take another piece. It rips real nice. I'm going to put it here. And let me just get rid of that little piece. Hope everyone's doing well. Okay. Oh, you know what? I didn't want to put a piece there, but that's okay. Different variations. I was going to make a different one, but it's quite all right. It's quite all right. We don't have to worry. So now what you're going to do is flip this up and glue it. Okay, it's going to stick. This, this is super good. Now you can use glue or what you can do is take a piece of packing tape and put it over that paper clip and then glue the rest on. Okay, so whatever, whatever you can do. So now we have a, a clip, partially hidden clip. And then on this side here... I had pre-cut, I had pre-cut some, and one of the images, oh, I had this, um, well, this is single-sided, this is like a, it looks like a Christmas song, so I want to glue that on there, so I'm going to do that, actually, I'm going to put this like that, and let me get some glue. We might make a different ver uh, version of this clip, maybe for the uh, front side of but we'll see, because I have some different ideas to make for ephemera, something different than we usually make. That's what I'm trying to do with this retro journal, just trying to do some different types of ephemera. Um, my other journal, I don't know if I mentioned this already, I don't think I did. I think I was so excited to finally make a video and come on and show you what I'm doing. Um, the other journal that I'm going to be making, and it's probably going to be um, this journal and then the next journal. I'm not going to just do all one journal and then start another. I'm going to work on two simultaneously, two different ones. So I'm working on uh, Joey Cardmaker's Let's Be Jolly, and I will be starting a different style of a journal with uh, Amy at Crafty Cat, her new kid called Reason for the Season 4. Um, I'm also incorporating some pages from... Uh, maybe, oh, I forgot which one I bought. She has four reason for the season digitals. Her latest one is number four. I did get one of the other kits too. I'll have to look and I'll let you know. So I'll be making a different type of journal with that kit. And so I can give you some options on different types of journals because not everybody likes retro. Not everybody likes, um, you know, whatever, whatever. So Okay, so I'm going to put that there. This is one of the journal cards that I had sewn. Um, but you know what? I, I just think it'd be cute on here, this little boy. And I love that. So even though I made it into a journaling, journaling card, it, it's okay. I'm all right with it. I'm still going to glue it on because I think it, it looks really cute on this um, paper clip. So I'm going to get that on. Not glue my hand, just the paper, hopefully. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. All right, so let's get this on here. 
kind of center that the best I can. That looks cute. Okay. All right. Um, what else did I want to do? Well, wait, let's go back to the inside here. So what it's going to do is it's going to clip on the page. I'll show you how it's going to clip. It's going to just clip on this page. So on the other side here, you'll see the paper clip, but we can clip things under here, right? But on this side, it's going to look like that. And then you're going to be able to flip this up. Now, there's a whole bunch of different ideas. So I have like a vintage Christmas cookbook. So I cut a piece of a recipe uh, for the same length for, and I whatever the directions where I just cut that off. Uh, what I'm going to do is just cut a little divot. We're going to make a little pocket on there. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here and take that ever so slight little divot out of there. Um, where's my vintage photo? Okay. So I'm going to glue this on and make a little pocket like that so we have a pocket to put stuff in. And I love little areas where you can just hide little little goodies in. All right. So we're going to put that here. Okay, so you have a cute little pocket with, and you just by reading this, you can tell they're making a Christmas cake. I love that. Now on top, um, there's all different things we can do on here. Um, we can just um, make another pocket. Uh, we can do um, what I wanted to do, which I forgot was why I put the tape as I only wanted to put the tape across the paper clip because then I wanted to make this a pocket as well. So not only a pocket here, but it would have been a pocket here. But that's another option you can do. Don't glue the whole piece down. Just put a piece across the top. And um, well, if I'm putting it on this page, I would put the the little divot and put a pocket here. If you could and put it on this page, you would do it here. But we're going to do this pocket here. And the other thing we can do up here is we can either put um, a tuck spot and put a tag in here. We can make a little notepad. I'm sorry, am I out of frame? I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, we can uh, make a little uh, notepad and attach it to here. Uh, we can put a pocket here. And I'm just going to look look at some of the stuff in here. And let's see, because he does have some corner. Oh, we can even put a tab on here, too. So it, it shows you to lift it up. Um, one of these tabs that they have. Let's see. See, when I, you can even put one of these here. That would be cute. That would be super cute to put a tab on here. Then you know to lift it up, right? Then you know to lift it up. Oh, that's cute. I like that. All right, maybe we'll do that. But um, what I was looking for is he does have some corner pockets here, a small one. and a, uh, Maybe the small one would work. Here's a little one here. Let's see if that would work. I, my de desk is just Christmas is everywhere, and I'm okay with that. And so let me see if I'm in frame here. See this little corner packet? This came with the kit here. It's got the little folds on it. We can glue that here and tuck, make tucks in there, and then we got a pocket here. So I think we're going to do that. Uh, let me take this off here. And I'm going to just give this a good crease again. Okay. And then I already cut these out and inked around them. So I am going to glue this on first. This is such a cute kit. It's, you know what? It's a fun kit. It's... um. It's just a kit to have fun, you know, not to be too serious, but um, 
What I think it's a perfect kit for December daily. I I might make myself one for my December daily. I, I'm not sure. It depends how much time I have. <laughs> you know, we all want to do it all, don't we? All right, so, oops, let me open that up. And we'll put this on, eyeball this. I'm going to put it right on the edge here, like that. That will be cute, like that. Glue that on. Doesn't it? Yeah, that looks nice. I like it. Okay, so then when you open it up, we have a pocket there. And you know what we, we could put in there is some of those little tea cards. The, let me find those in my bin here um, that came with the kit. These little tea cards, look at them. It says Patty Cratchit's Christmas Cookies, Patty Cratchit's Christmas Cakes, Cookies, Cakes. Yeah, I think there's another one. Oh, wow, yeah. So, see, we can put some of these in here. Well, those would be, oh, maybe not. They're a little tall. Okay. Oh, crumb. Okay, those are not going to fit, but that's okay. There's other things you can put in here. We'll find something else. Let me see what else we can fit in here. There's something else. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, maybe... No, I think these are going to be... No, these should fit. These tickets. Let's see. There's a few of those. These might fit just fine. Oh, so tall. Unless I trim some of those off. Because they're ever so... Let's see. That or... Well, we can put them in a little sideways too, like that, right? Could I do that? Could I do that even? Put a couple that way? Yeah, we could do that. There's no reason we can't. I'm going to ink those. I don't think I ink the edges. And there are some uh, like smaller little postage stamp type things we could put in there too. So there's uh, sizes of everything. You know, there's always going to be a way to fit it in. We can make it fit, it, fit you know. Now you can make these smaller. If you have smaller strips, you can make smaller clips. So it really kind of doesn't matter. Depends what, what you want to use it for. So for now, I'm going to put in two of these this way. For now, just for now, till we change. Okay. And then on this, I am going to glue that pocket. And then we can probably fit a couple of those tags in there. Like I said, you can put a notepad up there if you want, which would be fun. Maybe we'll make another one for, uh, maybe a different size one we'll make for the front of it. And we'll make a notepad one, something different. Okay, so let's just get this on here. I like that. And then um, there are these pictures. We can, I didn't do anything on the back with those, but I can always uh, add some coffee dyed paper or just do some stenciling. So those would go up there. Here's one that says Season's Greetings. So pretty, you can fit. Or we can put, um, these tags are so pretty, aren't they? These are super, now I, I could, um, you know, you could punch the hole and put some ribbon or something. Oh, look, look at the images. I love that Santa. Joey does such a nice job, doesn't he? So you can always put like a couple of those in there. Um, we'll see, let's see what we can put in there. Um, or maybe another journaling card would fit in there. One of these journaling cards. I don't know. Do we make room for it? Oh, look at that. It does. It works. We can put a journaling card in. Let's see what goes, what we can do. Oh, that would be cute because you can see the ladies having a party. Maybe we'll put one of those journaling cards. We sure have a lot of them. 
I'll put one of those journaling cards in there. So let me move this over so we can even put a little decoration there. Like um, I cut them out with my, uh, I have these scissors that I've had forever. These, um, let's see, paper shapes. I might have gotten these from Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I've had them Provo Crafts, so I don't know. But if you look at it, it makes that cut like a stamp cut, that tiny ripple. So I did cut these out. And so I cut out these little stamps here. I'm looking for one. Maybe this one. We can always put one of these here. Let's just see. I'll give it a little ink here. I think this is a fun little paper clip here, don't you think? All right, so we can always put one of those here even, like that if we want. Maybe I want a green one because there's a lot of red going on. Maybe a green one. Oh, I know what I want to do. Do you know what I want to do? And I'm another. Today is a Michelle day. She, all her great ideas. You know what else she does? And she uh, this tape, this double sided tape, and it's on Amazon. I can. Um, it, I will look it up and see if I can link it in the description too. It's it's different size rolls. Like this is the thinnest one. It's like a quarter inch. This one here is like, um, this one is three quarter inch. I don't know if it comes thicker. I'll look this up and tell you, but it's what Michelle uses and it's really good. Well, you know what she does? She uses this thin, I can't my glue up here. She uses this thin one. And she has a whole collection of fine glitter from Arteza. I don't have any of that, but you know what I found? I had some old Martha Stewart glitter. This is a very, very fine glitter. It's not the big glitter. So if you have any of this fine glitter, this one's called a white gold. Um, and I, I looked, I do have a green. Maybe we'll do the green. This one's called green. So I'll show you what she does. Let me get a scrap paper. And this really, really adds and so easy. So I think I'm going to put a strip down the towards the bottom. So what she does is rip off a strip of this double-sided tape. And I'm going to put it on the bottom here, right across here. And I always... Um, do more than I need because I need to I don't think I even have that on straight maybe I do okay and then I'm going to cut that excess off wait till you see what and this is like brilliant I love this idea um, instant gorgeousness when you do this watch so I have my tape on there, okay? I'm gonna pull the paper off. I mean, it's worth just getting some glitter, even if you have it in red and gold. Pull the tape off, open the glitter up, the little cap like this, and now shake it over the tape. And you don't waste a lot either. I mean, how much glitter, I mean, if you have glitter, do you know how much, We'll never use it in our lifetime, won't we? So I just kind of shake it over there because you're never going to get it back in there, just so you know. And then I'm going to tap it off. You can even run your finger. Look at it. It stays on. It doesn't come off. Look. And if you wanted to, you can press on it like that if you want to, but you don't need to. And look how cute that is. Isn't that the cutest? It just adds a little something. Oh, I love that. And then I just dump this in the garbage. Just put that in the garbage. So we have that. We could even put, um, I know we could keep going on this forever, can't we? Um, you could put a little label, but you know what? This picture, I mean, you can put like a word, like, I don't know, wonder if you had any like um, stamps or uh, word die cuts, words. I don't. I might have some somewhere. I don't. 
Oh, you know what? I have a Tim Holtz sticker book. Let's see if we can find a word maybe to use in here. These are not the newest ones. I've had these books for a while. How about Dear Santa or Santa Will Know? Oh, yeah, let's use something here um, without taking up more time. Those two stood out to me. Santa Will Know. I love that one. Should we use it? That one, Santa Will Know. Will he know what you want? Oh, so cute. Or Dear Santa, we can do that one too. I don't know. I think this one's cute. I just ran some ink around it. I'm going to put a little blue. I really don't want to take away from the pretty picture. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to put it right down here. Santa will know. Just a little something. Not It's just not taking away from the picture. I think that's super cute. Okay. Now, let's clip this on our page. And for now, I'm not saying it's going to stay here. Um, I might do some stamping on here. I, I'm just not sure yet. But I thought, unless I change my mind, which can always happen, right? I can always put it here, too. It would look real pretty on this book page. Maybe I'll do that. Or do you even look pretty there? Um, all right, I'm just going to put it here for now, and then we can always move it, okay? So I'm going to just clip it on how I like it, right there. Clip it on the page, right? So then you flip it up. You've got a journaling card here to take out and journal on. Tuck it back on there, or of course you could tuck anything you want. You have this cute little pocket with some tickets in there with pretty glitter. That. And then on the other side, you have the paper clip, but you know what? You can just, we can just clip something under there. Um, I don't know yet, but we can, you know, that's a place to clip something. Okay. So two pieces of ephemera. We did this super cute circle. It's super it's like a secret a secret um area in here that we can tuck things in or like i said we can um we can cut this down and glue this in there and we can still fit things in there i i, I don't know what we'll do but we'll see those are the couple options there right so that's fun love that and then we did this fun paper clip with a pocket and a tuck spot. Okay, well, I'll be back with some more uh, ephemera ideas to fill this up with. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll um, play along. Uh, check out uh, Joey's Kit. It's really, really fun. Very light um, to work, you know, very just, just fun. Just light for Christmas, a light Christmas. Um, love the images, I love the vintage colors. And um, I'm, I'm just really enjoying this. So I hope you'll uh, play along and watch along. And I will see you next time with another video. Take care and have a blessed day. Take care. Bye.